Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls. I'm here to do a spiritual update for Cancer. Cancer, how are you guys doing? Let's see what messages we have here from our teal deck. Teal deck card. Card deck. Um, getting my words all mixed up for you guys. Let's see, we have time. This time has a wonderful way of showing you what really matters. So as you sit there and you ponder and wonder, I feel like you have this, this powerful meaning of your worth, the worth of time, just what really matters to you right now, Cancer. And I feel like the strong connection that you feel um, with life right now, okay? Let's go ahead and see what else is in the general energy, what's in the general energy for Cancer. General energy for Cancer. General energy for Cancer. A time to disconnect um, from social media. I feel like there's been too much um, online overstimulation, being sucked into this um, um, technology, mirroring technology. So I'm also hearing like um, you can check on your phone how much time you've been spending on the internet or browsing or these platforms. Um, we have some blockages here in terms of what we're speaking, what we're saying, and um, I don't wanna say ungratefulness, but just a hard time being grateful for certain things or situations. So there's a card here to be compassionate. Compassion is important for yourself in order for you to continue growing and blooming in your life. Um, let's see with this card and we'll get into your tarot right away here. Um, thankless work, underappreciating what you have, only seeing what you lack, searching outward. And I do feel like it's something that you've experienced like lacking. Um, and then we have negative self-talk, being aware of your thoughts, being harsh with your words. And so we have compassion, compassion with yourself. Um, sometimes we, we can all get stuck in this kind of rut energy, but um, even myself, um, honestly, sometimes I play positive affirmations on YouTube, I write things down, I try to um, rewire, reconstruct the energy as much as I can, so um, it's just maybe something that you could do for yourself. But let's see what else is in the current energy for cancer. Okay. There's someone that sees someone as very intellectual, very valuable, like, um, oh, there's really good memories here. You've built some relationship and there are really good memories. But what's going on here? What's this mental confusion? And feeling burden, overthinking certain situations, unable to speak up. Um, there's so much love here, Cancer, honestly. Um, I, I feel like someone's afraid of making the wrong decision or saying the wrong thing, but there's so much love in your current energy, Cancer. But somebody's overthinking, over analyzing certain words, certain situations, um, and a lot of it has to do with the past. Like, I was stabbed before, I was hurt, this happened if I did this this way, so, uh, but there's an opportunity to, to build. There's a happy home, there's lots of love, there's a, a good flow energy, and somebody's made a decision, but then there's fear of speaking up um, in terms, uh, within this connection and this relationship, what is this? Okay, somebody's um, overly watching, overly analyzing a situation. Um, and if not a situation, it's just the person, their behavior, their comments, their energy, their tone of voice, current energy. But keeping it inside. Um, not internalizing a lot of this. Um, and it's almost like it's turning into a really big fear. So trust that this connection is here for a positive it's something positive it's a good connection we had the lovers card here so let's see 
What do we have here for this energy? We have engagement. We have your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And this um, situation might have you overthinking if you've already been in a similar situation. Um, but I see it as a lovely opportunity. We have flowers here. We have lovely memories. Um, so let's see what's um, blocking. What's the blockage for cancer? What is the blockage for cancer? Some emotional instability, um, not wanting to rush into anything. Um, sometimes being too harsh with your words or too blunt or too clear. Here we go. Tell me more about this blockage, blockage energy for cancer. Um, I feel, so we have the emperor and the empress below, or um, as a blockage. So at some point there was something very toxic, very wrong. It, I, I wanna say like a false uh, twin flame or soulmate, something that mirrored you at some point, but it wasn't healthy. Um, this person, or it could have been you, or the other person was unable to take care of themselves, or there might also be um, a mother, a child's mother involved here. Um, so there's fear of rushing into something that feels too familiar, and yeah, I don't want to be a fool, and I don't want to take this risk. It's just really scary. So it's questioning: Is this going to bring up? toxic patterns or needing to change toxic patterns to change the outcome okay so let's see what's coming towards you in the near future near future energy near future energy okay you're gonna speak more move forward you're gonna begin to let go of resentment but i feel like i'm hearing i don't have much to offer but i will what I do say is of great value. What I do offer is a, I, it's of great value. Um, this is what I have. There needs to, um, a reminder here to continue healing. Um, the King of Wands energy, very charismatic, very um, attractive. Um, you could be very simple, but you have this very bright energy. And this confidence, it's what's going to move this situation into it's high as good, not just for yourself, for your partner. Um, and if this is not a relationship, um, you might be seeking to manifest a new beginning, more opportunity in your job. So you will get into this more confident energy for, um, for you to feel it, okay? Feel that value, that, that it's there. Let's see, what do we have here from our self-care card deck for Cancer, cancer energy, growth. We have evolution starts when you leave your comfort zone. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable because things are going to grow and expand and just a beautiful new beginning for you. Royalty, we keep talking about value for you, Cancer. You are the queen or king of your life. Treat yourself like royalty. Um, extremely valuable energy here, Cancer. Um, let's go ahead and talk about your angels. Let's see what messages do our angels have for cancer. We have compromise, balance. We have compromise, trust, listen to your intuition. Um, we'll do trust since trust and listen to your intuition are, are similar. This is the time of trust. Sometimes there is no yes or no to a question. There are situations where we are better served by not knowing what is to come so that the miracle can unfold before our very eyes. Like children opening a gift, part of the magic of our lives is found in the joy of surprise. Trust that your angels have something amazing in store for you, even if they can't quite tell you what it is. Um, and so, you guys, I feel like really pleasant surprises are coming your way if they haven't already shown up in your life. Um, have faith in your feelings about the circumstances you're experiencing. Your insights into other people and their true feelings or motives are perfectly accurate. 
There's no need to question what you know is true. All right, Cancer, this was your reading. If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.